In the wake of the historic rate cut from the Reserve Bank, the Commonwealth quickly passed on a 1% discount to small business customers. The bank's CEO, Matt Common, is also head of the Bankers Association, representing the Big Four. He says these stimulus measures will be crucial, but that the economy will bounce back. Mr Common spoke earlier to our business editor, Tiki Fullerton. Matt Common, thanks for being there. Uh, Australians and bank customers are worried, fearful about their savings, their loans. You're, you run the biggest bank, you're chair of the ABA representing the big four. Is this bridge going to be enough? I think it is, Tiki, and the ABA actually represents all of the financial institutions and there's been a lot of discussions and I know support across the entire banking industry. And of course, individually, we're working very close with, closely with government and regulators to make sure that we're building a very strong bridge to get as many businesses in particular across what is a very challenging period. There's a range of measures that have been announced today. We've announced some measures ourselves. We think it's going to be uh, further initiatives are going to be required and we just need to join together to help our customers and the Australian economy get through a very difficult period. So the RBA, Phil Lowe, is engaging in quantitative easing. He's targeting uh, the, the, the three-year bond for 0.25%. Uh, 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 now, what does that allow you to do, Matt? Well, there's two things, really, on the unconventional monetary policy that the Governor announced today. One's a, a term finance facility, effectively for businesses, uh, and I think it's an excellent initiative and it's going to enable an abundant source of low cost funding to be made available to businesses. And there's a particular feature in there which, as an institution, if you're lending to a small or mid-sized business, there's a multiplier effect in terms of the quantity of balances that you can withdraw. And then, as the Governor also said, he's targeting particularly the three-year government bond rate. That tends to be the rate that a number of uh, or it's really the benchmark for a number of other rates uh, more broadly in the market. That's going to make sure that borrowing rates are kept uh, low. I mean, from a financial institution perspective, uh, it, it is a negative impact in terms of our earnings. And there's no question that very low rates in a form, as you said, of unconventional or quantitative easing, is going to have a negative impact on financial institutions. But clearly we're seeing unprecedented times and we are very focused on making sure we're doing everything we can to support our customers to get through this particular period and of course our business customers and so we've really got to come together and make sure that we're supporting Australian businesses and keeping Australian people in their jobs uh, and that's the best way to come through on the other side because we will get through on the other side and there will be a strong recovery but the next three to six months in particular are going to be very challenging. So this $90 billion credit facility that the, the RBA has announced, it's a one-to-one -one, uh, lending if you, if you banks are lending to big business, but uh, they, will, they will offer $5, I understand it, for, for, for everyone. Is that, is that right? If for small That's business? That's exactly right. That's okay. exactly so, how it works. So, it so the question is, how are you, this is all about, though, uh, businesses, small businesses, taking that decision to borrow more money, how are you going to uh, convince them, to give them the confidence that they should be doing that? Well, I think it's an important set of measures that were announced today, but it has to be part of a broader package. And as you would expect, we're working very closely with the government and Treasury, and I, I know that they're working on a number, and I think they've already announced some very significant initiatives. But clearly, we're going to need to do whatever it takes to get businesses through. Some are going to need direct cash assistance, particularly some of the industries that are very directly impacted. And we can see that already in the numbers that, that are coming through the economy in spend data and in consumption. But with a, a rate of 0.25%, that's going to be made available to financial institutions. Uh, that'll be then provided at, at very low cost uh, to small businesses. So it's clearly going to be you know, a lowest cost of financing than we've ever seen in Australia. Uh, but you're quite right, it's going to need a range of measures. We're going to have some customers uh, that actually can't take on more debt. They're going to need assistance. They're going to need flexibility and support uh, from their financial institutions. We're working very closely with the regulator. APRA made an announcement today. Uh, and it's going to take a number of different steps from all of us to try and get uh, businesses through and make sure that we're there and in place to recover, which we are going to do. 
and we should all be optimistic about the medium to long term prospects of the Australian economy. CBA has announced help for uh, mortgage borrowers at the moment, um, but, but are you actually going to offer interest holidays over this period as well? There's a number of different measures that are already in place, as you said, uh, and a number of those are made uh, on a case-by-case -case basis. We and a number of other industry participants are thinking about what's a broad-based level of support that the entire industry could offer. And I think you'll see some subsequent measures coming out in coming days to support both business customers and personal customers. And some people are being directly impacted. Of course, not everybody is. Uh, so we need to make sure that we're flexible and we can support the customers who need our help the most as quickly as possible. You mentioned that APRA, the regulator, has, has taken action. It is um, loosening up the rules around how much capital banks uh, need, how much of a buffer they need. How confident can we be, Matt Common, that the banks have the buffer to weather this? We should be extremely confident. Australia, fortunately, and it's a great credit to our regulators and David Murray's uh, financial system inquiry many years ago, we've built substantial capital levels to get to unquestionably strong or 10.5%, which is approximately 250 basis point buffer. And what uh, Wayne Byers announced today is that financial institutions can dip into that buffer. That's the reason that it's there. For the Commonwealth Bank, we're actually running a capital level at 31 to 7 of 11.7 per cent. So we have a very substantial capital buffer. Fortunately, our balance sheet has never been stronger, uh, which is uh, particularly helpful at this point in time. But broadly, the community should be very confident about the financial strength and stability of Australia's banks. And that's really important because this, this is our job now to really lean in and help our customers get through this, this period and particularly to facilitate an abundant source of credit to help small businesses get through very tough trading conditions.